Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. It's Casey Roche here. So great to see you again. Welcome to episode 15 of The Spotlight. Doing a very cool feature on this ice cream shop here in Canal Fulton called Osier's Dairy and Deli. So you're going to see familiar face in Ann Conkle. If you remember last time, she owns Miller Doan Tavern just down the way. Uh, so we're going to get into Osier's here, learn all about the rich history, talk to Ann a little bit more, and just find out more about Osier's, guys. Such a great place. Can't wait for you to see it. Hello again, my name is Ann Doan Conkle and I am also the owner of Ozer's Dairy and Deli. When I um, moved here in 1982, um, I lived just up the street and of course I was young and I had an apartment and I didn't have a laundry so I used to come down to the laundromat behind us here and, and I'd bring my little baby into Ozer's and set him up on the counter and Paul and Millie Ozer owned it at the time. And Paul always used to give my son a pretzel stick and he used to give his penny and Paul used to tell him to take his penny home and put it in his piggy bank. And my son will be 36 this year and he still remembers that. So yeah, it's just kind of been a part of us for a long time. We have kind of morphed it back into more of the ice cream store that it originally was. Um, we do still have food, we have wraps and we have macaroni and cheese and hot dogs and pony dogs and stuff like that. But we really concentrated on the ice cream and what that could do for the town because that's what Ozers was known for. Um, now, as far as the town goes, we have um, continued to try to give back to the town any way we can. For instance, if the schools need ice cream for an event or the nursing home needs ice cream, whatever it might be, we do whatever we need to to make this a homey, community-based business. This place has been around since 1954. Um, it's only been in three people's hands since 1954 and I, I actually, when we bought this place, we went to some of the Ozer family that are left and asked permission to keep the name because technically we weren't supposed, allowed to keep the name. So we went and asked permission and they said, well, we know wh how you feel about this place and as long as it's you, we'll let you keep the name. But if you ever sell it, the name goes away so it, again it was their name it was their passion um, but again I have a passion for the old building um, again it's an 1876 building underneath all this but again it's just it's more so for the town than it is the product and um, this is just you know keeping the town alive well, there it is, my friends. Thanks so much for taking the time and hanging out with us today. Got to see all about Osier's Dairy and ice cream here and meet the owner, and Conkle. And uh, so, guys, everything here is just so amazing. I've been coming here since I was, shoot, you know, a little guy, probably five years old or so, and a place that's always near and dear to my heart. So if you're out and about next time or walking the towpath, please be sure to stop in and see these guys. they got some great ice creams or food if you're on the go for lunch. So stop in and see them, and we'll see you next time.